Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you a brand new episode in my 15 minute build series. And in this episode, we are going to be building this chicken coop that you see right here. It's pretty straightforward and simple. I am going to add one more thing to it, um, but it's all in all, it's pretty simple and it's not a whole lot of different building blocks. So as you can see, uh, we're basically using just some real simple building blocks and you technically could do this with just about any type of wood. We do have some wheat that goes all the way around the uh, edges here. Wow, I am, I am kind of failing at moving around. There we go. So anyway, that's about it. So let's go ahead and get right to building. I'm gonna go ahead and put 15 minutes on the clock starting right now so the first thing that we're gonna want to do is we're gonna lay out the base and I don't want stone brick monster eggs why did I do that that's all right we'll grab some stone bricks some spruce spruce wood spruce wood slabs and then some of these oak fences and we'll just put it right about here I guess so you're gonna go one two leave a gap like that and like so and that's gonna be your basic shape then we'll put oak fences, we'll go three, another stone brick, and then we're just going to mirror it on this side. And we'll put these oak fences all the way around, filling in these gaps, except for this one. This one's going to be a little bit different. We're just going to put another stone brick um, stair thing right there. Now, this is where it's going to be a little bit different than the original build. We're gonna take this area, like so, and we'll just go ahead and put some chests in there, like this, and then we can put some trapped chests in there too. Uh, where are those at? Here we go. And that way we can double them up just like this so there's that part now on top of these we're going to put spruce wood in the corners just like this we'll also put uh, a spruce wood on top of this fence post right here this spruce wood logs i guess i would call them just like that and then we're going to take uh spruce wood planks there we go and we'll put those all around this edge just like this but not over this part this part we're gonna leave alone um except we will put a spruce wood log there and a spruce wood log there then we'll bring each of those up just like this so the corner ones and this one are going up for a total of three high these two are only going up too high just like so next we're going to take spruce wood slabs and put them in right here and then we will take these oak fences and fill these in as well we'll put a spruce plank there and a spruce slab there and then these will also oh I forgot to put the uh, spruce planks all the way around. Here we go. Let's do this again. There we go. That's better. And oak fences filling in these areas right here. There we go. And there we go. Okay. So, next, we're going to go ahead and put in the floor. And the floor is going to be flush with this. So we'll go like this with spruce planks. We'll put a plank here and a plank here. And then a plank here and a plank there. Now this is where it's going to be a little bit different than the original build. I'm going to take some hoppers. And we're just going to put hoppers just like this just one row of hoppers that leads into these chests and then you can you i'm sure you guys can figure out for yourself how to get down there into the chests or you could even bury them one more either way it doesn't matter then we will cover the hoppers up with more spruce slabs just like that so there you go 
Now, here, we're going to take spruce wood planks again. And we're just going to bring those all the way around the edges of the chicken coop for this top layer. Here, we'll go one, two, three, and one. And then one, two, three, and one, like so. Then we will take some of these oak wood stairs and we're going to start filling this in right here it's going to turn so that lines up with oh i'm sorry that's not right i went one too many there we go it turns on this uh column right in front of the door so we'll do that this will come over and then turn and over and turn we're actually gonna put these back one so that there's a little bit of dimension here and it will then give us room to do some kind of nifty things as well no I was right this is Oh, I am all derped up today, guys. I apologize. There we go. Let's get this right. Because this is where it turns, right there. If I can place this properly. There we go. All right. And then this comes over like that. Okay. And then this will come off altogether. that one will turn no in the lower part there we go this will come out like so and like so and then we need some oak slabs there we go and those will come over like this we'll put another spruce wood log here go one two and just like that so that is going to be our roof shape. See how that matches up. Now, over here, this side is much easier. We're just going to bring these all the way across. Just like that. We will put the stairs extruding one. So it's like a little gable that will hang over just a, just a tiny bit. And... Then we'll bring it up here and down there. Down here, we're going to fill these in with inverted stairs. And then we'll match it up right here. And we'll bring this top layer of oak slabs all the way across the top of the build, just like so. And then inverted stairs and inverted stairs. So this is what it looks like right there. Now here, we're going to knock out... Wait a minute. What did I do wrong? Something's not right. Oh, I, I didn't do the, uh, the inverted stairs. Okay. Well, that's all right. We will do... I guess we'll take these out so we can put that window in. You can either go with or without the inverted stairs. It's completely up to you. I kind of like it. I kind of like it both ways, actually. I like both of them. Now, right here, we're going to take spruce wood. We'll put one step there. We'll wrap it, and we'll wrap it like so. So we've got a little staircase that leads up. We're going to fill this in with spruce wood planks like that right here there's going to be one bit of glowstone with a spruce plank on either side of it and that's not right what am I doing wrong hold on let's take a look don't even remember how to make my own build, guys. Okay. I see what I did. 
Wait a minute. Yeah, okay. So I was right. Mostly, at least. I was mostly right. Okay. So these actually do not go there. Let's take these out like so. Then we're going to actually put... Spruce slabs just like that. There we go. That's much better. And then this one will be glowstone hanging down. We'll put spruce like this. And that way we can make room for these little pillars that are going to go here which are also just oak fences. Then we'll take an oak fence gate and we'll put one there and one there. Now wait a minute. There we go. That's much better. And that is pretty much the build. We just need to actually put the chickens in there. So we'll spawn ourselves a couple chickens. Let me close the gates first so they don't all escape. We'll just spawn a couple chickens in here. There we go. And then we need to do a little bit of decorating on the outside. So we're going to take a diamond hoe. Why not? Might as well be a diamond one. We're in creative mode after all. And... Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot... To put in the water. There's a little bit of water in this build. Just so that these farms will work. We're basically putting one here and there. And between that one and this one over here, that should allow all of these to be close enough to a water source that they will grow. So we just kind of hit them under the pillars. And then we'll plant a bunch of seeds. We'll go ahead and bone mail the seeds. Just like that. And that'll kind of cover up the hoppers and the chest down there. And there you guys have it right there. There you guys have it. It is a chicken coop and it is done at 12 minutes and 26 seconds. So there you have it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I really do appreciate it, and it really, really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.